So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and transfer your data from one Nintendo Switch to another. Now, this is a very basic process. It really doesn't take too much time, but you will need both of your Nintendo Switches around each other. So if they're in like different, if you haven't even gotten your Nintendo Switch yet, that might be a problem. So just go ahead, find your new Nintendo Switch, make sure it's around your old Nintendo Switch. And what you wanna do is you wanna make your way over to your system settings. So go and click open your system settings like this. And all you're going to want to do is scroll down until you see data management. So all you're going to want to do here is go ahead and tap on data management right there. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see transfer your saved data. So go ahead and click on transfer your saved data right there. And you will come into this next panel. Now what you're going to want to do where it says transfer saved data to a nearby console, remember it has to be nearby. So you have two options. You can either send your saved data to another console or you can receive your saved data. So on your old Nintendo Switch, what you wanna do is you wanna click on send saved data to a new console. Just think about it like that. Another console is a new console. If you're on your new Nintendo Switch, you wanna click on receive saved data. So you should have two Nintendo Switches next to each other just like this. Now, if you wanna go and send your saved data, what you can do is just tap on that and you should see this next panel come up. Now, all you're going to have to do here is go and just tap on the user. So you can, if you have multiple different users, you wanna find the user that you wanna go and transfer the data from. So go and tap on that. And what you're going to wanna to do is you'll get into this next page. So now what you can do is you can just find whichever other panel you wanna go ahead and whatever save data you wanna transfer. You can go and select it. So here I'll just select this one and you will have to update, which is kind of annoying, but that's pretty much the process. It's very basic. You choose whichever things you wanna transfer and from there you can transfer them as always. So pretty much covers it up. Any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. The like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then